concerning popular propaganda that uh, Sumerians invented writing, scholar East Africa reminds us that if the Sumerians were writing on clay tablets by 4000 BC, the ancient Egyptians were already uh, writing on paper called papyrus by that time. Thus, we contend uh, that Sumer was a child state of ancient Negroes from East Africa. What was then the language of Mesopotamia? Is Sumerian a dead language? Is Mesopotamian similar to modern African? Since our contention is that people are black people civilize the whole earth, what is the language found on the cuneiform writing? You can also visit this website to study a lot of uh, this uh, information. This picture Rabbi Elam Tumizulu of Hamiti Hebrew Ethics is Mesopotamian same as modern African language. That's the question we want to answer today. Before we proceed, let us uh, look at a number of factors. The problem we are faced with in terms of the identity of our ancient uh, languages is same as that highlighted by artifacts. It is the serious academic forgeries, mutilations and modifications so-called restorations which are even greater with the vital history of mesopotamia it is those who never had any history who forge other people's ancient history when it comes to language there is always a huge tweaking as with artifacts and obvious bias and outright academic lying is perpetrated let's quickly show uh, some of uh, these forgeries when you look at these two images this is the image of the restoration of this one after reconstruction and repair, always they wind up looking like the figure on the right. The problem of the restorer is that when you are starting with a wide nasal base and you wish to make a pointy nose out of it, the result can only come out looking like the ridiculous and completely unbelievable statue like this one. So this is a forgery. So many, many such forgeries are now being perpetrated and used on the earth. More forgeries and the proofs of that. This is the queen of the night, the original. She's an African queen. You can see the face. You can see all the structures. And this is the restoration of the queen of night. She now looks like an Aryan, like an Indian, like a European. And soon people will be debating. Actually, people are debating that uh, uh, Semiramis looks like that, which is a lie. What language would these people shown here speak? This is a Sumerian figure, a god figure, looks, looks properly as an African, like this one found from the Congo, as well as that one in Uruki. So these are Africans, and these are images of Africans. So there is no need for us to contend that they are not. But where did the Sumerians come from? Sir Henry Rollison was surprised when he learned that the founders of Mesopotamian civilization were of Kushite origin. He made it clear that the Semitic speakers of Sumer were black people who called themselves Sagiga, black heads. The Sumerians called their country Kenki. In Rollinson's day, the Sumerian people were recognized as Akkadian or Chaldean, while the Semitic black speaking uh, people were called Assyrians. But we now know that all of them were Africans. You can study more from the Anklife Black History Month uh, given there. So let's look at Sumerian. Let's look at the language because that's what we want to do today. The key, the key words we have to employ everywhere and almost constantly is this word, very important word, Bantu, which means black people, brown people, people of African descent in Oanu, Omuntu, Oantu, Oani, Oanu, Obanu. This is the African word which means people which means us black people so it is not a word that was coined by europeans or what it's europeans say, ah, oh they call themselves man, because that's what we called ourselves so anu a sumerian means the sky or supreme date anu inana goddess of love inana means a little kid or later became Ishta, inana is african inana or inunu which is the opposite of beauty which is Inun. Ea or Enki or Ankh or Ngai. Me or Kai. There's a place in Zimbabwe, uh, in, in, in Midlands called Nkai. It's a place I know, the place I come close to that. Then Nana, which means Ntwana, connected with the moon. So Nana in your, in your, in, in your womb. And Lili Enki Utu or Shamash, Nyamash means the sun. Abu is Av. You can, because you can change the B to a V. Av means the soil in Bantu languages. Now we look at this chart, you can find it on this website. We pick a few names there. Apsu is Pezulu, is Apezulu, because S can be changed. 
And remember, vowels were added by others. So we add our own vowels. So, apezulu, apezulu, bapezulu. That's clear. Tiamat, it's tia or tire means you throw. Mate or tire mutu means create. People is the divine queen. So it becomes clear. Then this is mumu. Umu mumkat means the place. Lamu means nam. Lamu inside. Ra inside. Goes ara and l are interchangeable. There is kengu or kanga or kungu or congo. That's the same. That's where you get it. That's congo. That's where you get it. Then anshari means I don't select. Then kashari means that one doesn't select. O kashare, o kashara, which means it is broad, goes uh, across the uh, whole place. O kushera, o kushara. Then we go to the most common one, antu, o antumu, o namu. These are people. Anu means people. Ki means you. Damakina means this side of damakina. Then enki, we have dealt with it. And lili, we have dealt with it. Maratuk, we, have, we come here quickly down there. Lulua or Rurua, we got set, which is shatter. We got karimate, kalimate, kalamate means cry, mate means the mouth or uh, saliva. Inana, we've dealt with it. Shara means select. Lulal means we can put arras there, means ra, 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 or rure, ro. That's that, 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 these are all in African uh, Bantu words. Let's look at the Anu. Anunnaki, a very common uh, word now all over the earth. We want to break it down and the Anuna or Anunnaki breaks down to Anu, the first part. Na means this, Anu, this, Na. Or it can form Naki means Nanke or they, Anu, they, or Nans. These are the people or these are the beautiful people. That's what it means. It's a Bantu word. You can also have good people from the word Anunnaki or Anunnake, Anunnaka, which, which this one is something, it's deeper. Anunnaku, Anunnake, Anunnaki, that's all Bantu languages. You got many, many other names that come here. Ninsina, Ninsima, Ninsima means food. Ninsina means city. Ninkas, Ninkas. Ninkas means me or musha or, or, or kasa means the worst uh, thing that you throw away after eating uh, fruits. Then you got this word uh, Anunnaki and associated with a number of uh, uh, reptilians or, uh, or aliens. But we say this is what people, Asian people used to do in Asian Africa. The Mangu Betu people from central uh, Congo used to do this style of lengthening their skulls. They believed that an elongated skull with a flattened forehead pleases the god. So Anunnaki, Anaka, it means now the gods are happy. They, 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 they are di divinely excited about that. It is important to remember that the people of early Egyptian civilization esteemed elongated heads and can be seen here on many pharaohs and royalty too. This is Tutu Angoma doing the same thing. So these ancient Egyptians are Africans. Asian Sumerians are Africans, Anunnaki are Africans, are people. The ancient Egyptians related that their ancestors who came from the inner Africa did this. So they practiced it. So those that say Egyptians are Arabs and stuff like that, they are liars. Demigods, mortal heroes, and monsters. Dumuzi, so-called Tamuzi. Dumizu, it's me, Dumizulu. Dumisani, Dumiso, Ndumiso. This is African, totally straightforward. Let's not waste the time there. It's a shepherd. He is the son of Enki and Sirture. You can read these books that we indicate in brackets here. Uh, Woksen and Krama. Geshtinana, demigoddess. She is Dumuz, Dumuzulu's sister. Ziuzudura or Ziuzura or Zisudura. It means anti or release. Then you got in the Sumerian version of the flood story, the pious Ziududura, which means one who was released. Of Shurupaki, which means Churupaka, which means rise up on top of the mountains. Krama 1963, the son of Ubare Tutu. Ubare Tutu means wind or, or, or which pushes you forward. Ubare means you are bearing it or you have given it birth or you have got that force. He's informed of the gods' decision to destroy mankind by listening to a wall. He uh, weathers the deluge and the windstorm aboard a huge boat. Guru Gamesh. Straightforward African word. The son either of the nomad or of the hero king, Lul Gabanda, and the goddess Ninsun. 
Olubanda Guga Lana means to sit and live together. This is the image of Dumuzi and uh, Inana uh, together. Namatare, there is fat, the demon god responsible for death. Ningish is it rising up. Dimpenkung, you go to Botswana, you find this place. Neti means Nangu, Kure means far away. You got Banda, a Sumerian word, meaning young, vigorous, impetuous, or proud. You got people in Zimbabwe with the same name Banda, in Zambia, the same name Banda, in South Africa, the same name Banda, and popularly in Malawi, Banda, Hasting, Kamuz Banda. Paraki, a Sumerian word, meaning lightning, symbol found of, in Africa. Beletseri, African female name, is there. Indaba, Nidaba, Nisaba, Nisaba, Nyasaba, I'm scared. Nan Biga. Uh, Ebululu or Ubululu or uh, Ndebele words, straight African words. God appointed Enki. He is in charge of the silver lock of the heart of heaven. He is identified with Akkadian God. Hadadi, African word, no pride, exactly what it means. And Kidu, Kabuda, which means Kubata, God placed in charge of the pick excel and a uh, brick mold. You can only hold them. That's why you have got Kubata. Mushaidama, oh, Mushdama. Mushaidama means Musha. Half of this means home. Dama means word. God placed in charge of foundations of what? Of houses by Enki. Krama like that. Straight, clear African word. Some gun is a straightforward reversal of words there, which is Musango or bush or forest. Eshlatin. The god of the plain of king of the mountain. He is the god placed in charge of the plant and animal life on the plain of Sume by Enki. Enki is Anki Onkai, means life. And Musha Musango is exactly the context of that word. Now, let's look at the word, last important word, Etana or Etana, which appears in Sumerian king list as a great ancestor king who united the whole nations on earth. But the name Etana means the strong one in Swahili. It's also Mtana in Shona means the old one or old wise person. Straight African. So when we look at the religion of the Sumerians, they have got this word Dingira, and this is Ta. Dingira is Dengara, or Denga, or heavens, or sky. Ra means the one, the shining one in the heavens, the, the, the light. The Sumerian religion originated from Hami. The sign of the star-shaped ideogram indicates the God in general, which is the aim of all the black people to go back to the ancestral world represented by the shining stars in the dingira in the heavens straightforward no worries about that in conclusion therefore is mesopotamian same as modern african language emphatically yes with such proof it is vital that we acknowledge the need for black scholars to grab the studies of all asian civilizations for inside them lies the keys for us to retake control of the earth and the foundations of the earth without that we are wasting time you look at these people asian people dungi or dunga i've got a dunga or dunga lungu banda banda dumi zulu bazi bahuzume irara anepada samkan ningirisu this is straightforward gentlemen and ladies we don't need to waste the time here it is time to really read, research, and apply our ancient systems. Subscribe to our channel, Hamiti Iburu Ethics. This is Priest Rabbi LM Tumizulu of uh, Hamiti Iburu Ethics. Contact us on lmtumizulu at gmail.com. Thank you. Goodbye.